The highlights here as the Buckeyes take the field, renewing a 97-year-old rivalry at Ohio Stadium, taking on Ohio University. Just four times you guys have met on the field. Another great crowd. I thought the crowd really, really is a great day for a football game. The crowd was into it. Here's Steve Belisari coming out early in the game and, and finding Reggie Germany on a little curl route for about 13 yards in the first down. That's exactly what he did there. Picks up the first and Belisari again. You come out here early in the ball game, make it look easy. Here's here's Belisari on a on a call running play, doing a nice job, put the ball away, and again picked up some uh, valuable yardage up the middle of the field. Looked like it was going to be easy there early in the ball game. Sometimes that's the worst thing you can do. Ten yards and another first. Getting after it here. We'll come back and uh, find find Kenyon Rambo, who had a real fine football game across the middle, number four for for another first down. That was a key third down play. 14 yards to Rambo on third and 10, then and, you go to the ground. Yeah, then they stop us. You can see they're really swarming the running game. That's why you got to be able to come with play action passes, keep them off balance a little bit. Danny Stones comes in here and kicks a 31 yard field goal. I'm glad to see him getting getting his confidence back. We're going to need him later on in the year. Nice, uh, nice snap, good, good hole, a good kick. Maybe a moral victory for <coughs> Ohio and for Dan Stoltz. Yeah, we start off playing some good defense. That's a real fine defensive play right there by Niall Diggs, number 32, our linebacker, along with Nate Clemens, number 20. But I tell you, they got some, they got a little deception in that offense. It's a third down play, and they keep the chains right here, move the ball on the ground, and, and again, possess the football, keep it away from our offense. 15 yards on the pickup by Patterson. This little kid, this little number 17 now, real, real good athlete, does a good job running their offense. Dontrell Jackson, 17 years old, three to nothing after the first quarter. Second quarter of action, OSU on defense again. And this is a third down stop right there again, Niall Diggs. Number one, Gary Berry. Gary's having a great year for us, leading our team in tackles right now. But they come out and kick a field goal. They had a real fine kicking game. I was really impressed with both of their kickers, our punter and their place kick. Kevin Kerr, a 44-yard shot straight through the uprights, and they're knotted at three apiece. You know, we come right back. We got Steve here at fullback, Steve, I mean quarterback Steve Belisari. And again, he hits Kenyon Rambo for the first down. We're playing Jamar Martin at fullback, Michael Wiley at running back. The offensive line here does a nice job. Henry Fleming, number 75, a good block. And Michael picks up some valuable yards. Number five, Michael Wiley. 11 yard carry on a first and 10. Again, a little play action. We come right back and we got the fullback open down the middle. We've got to hit that. That should be a touchdown for us. Instead, it was a nice play with our safety man there and they intercept the football in the end zone. Jamar Martin tips, Lance Fields makes the interception. And those kind of plays really, really stop you and, and, and we, uh, we miss a blocking assignment. They bring a strong safety on an outside blitz and sack our quarterback. Don't see that very often with his mobility. See a little play action. Uh, I, th I thought the quarterback did a nice job when they threw the football. He was four out of six throwing the ball. Uh, or six, excuse me, six out of ten throwing the football. Didn't throw it very often, but they were effective in those third down situations. Here again, a little, little play action fake, and they got their tight end open over the middle. We do a very poor job tackling. We got to wrap the tight end up. And another first down. 20 little, yards. They got a little momentum going right here now. 20 yard on the pickup uh, and Chad Brinker does the rest. Right here, they ran it right down our throats on the goal line. That's the first and goal on the four yard line. It's just gonna power off tackle play and they, they, not, they run the ball right at us. Ohio University staying in the fight, 10 to three with the lead. They come back in the play action here, throwing the ball back inside. I, I believe they ruled that one an, 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 a completed pass to Reggie Jeremy, number 80. Steve comes back here and again a big catch right there by Kenyon Rambo number four Kenyon was a player of the game seven big catches for about 180 yards. Here's Steve, Bella sorry back to back pass again this Rambo a little slant there to Kenyon for the touchdown they were playing us with what we call a three deep zone uh, the corners, corners were playing outside trying to take away the big game we go in at halftime here 10 to 10 thanks to that touchdown pass. Now 10 to the second half test right here. Highlights from the horseshoe and taking over first possession. They got, the ball. they got the ball to start the second half. And there we come. Right there's a good play by Nate Clemens, number 20, coming out of the, out of the secondary there and, and uh, you know, hit the quarterback. Got the ball in good, good field position for the offense. And here's what we're talking about. We're going down the field to Kenyon Rambo, number four. And with his speed, he made something happen after he caught the football. 36 yards on the pickup, sets up first down. That was a big third down conversion right there too. Now here's Steve back in the pocket, throwing the football again. Coming across that uh, Van Ness Provit, number 83. Big, big catch. We need to get Van Ness more involved in the ball game. Here's Michael Wiley, good block right there by our, by our guard. I believe that is uh, by Charles Bentley right there, number 68 out of St. Ignatius High School. 
Michael thought he got in, but just down to the one, 37 yards on the pickup, so you give him the ball again. Come right back, and real good blocking by, by the two big fullbacks right there, number 84, is Kevin Hauser, and I think, I think that's number, uh, that's our big fullback, Jamar Martin, right there, number 39. Ohio State takes a 17 to 10 lead. See, and we're on getting the, after him again. Yeah, right the there. kickoff. Rodney <laughs> Bailey, number 94. We're trying to get some pressure, penetrate those gaps, make the quarterback make a quick decision. Throw the ball outside and real, well, man, that's a big hit right there. Who is that? Niall Diggs, number 32. I guarantee you, he'll put the hurt on you now. That's what we need. We need a little more excitement out of our defensive football team. Here's a big play right here. This is a fake punt. Jimmy Haycock, who handles this for us, did a great job. Right there, number 42, made a great play for us. That's Locke staying at home on That's the play. Locke, Locke, and that, that is a big, big play in the ball game right there. Tony Locke made a big play. We'll give him some Buckeye leads for that big. <laughs> Michael did not run the right hole here, but he made a great individual effort and put the ball in the end zone. Seven, no matter how you look at it, 24 to 10 lead. And See, it's, now we're starting to get a little bit excited. Yeah. That's what we needed to start the ball game. It's like the light went off there, and then back on defense again. That's where it started. That's uh, who is that? That's Fred Puggish. That's, that's for Coach Pug's son right there, number 46, Fred Puggish Jr. Back on offense, this is a big play. There's a big play. We got Kenyon, good play action fake. We got Kenyon coming across, and does a nice job running with it after he catches the football here. Come on, Kenyon, put the ball in. It looks like he let up a little bit right there with the kind of speed he has. Nobody should touch him in the open field. You want to get in untouched there, but he's in nonetheless. 31 to 10 stretches the Ohio State lead. That's pretty much right here. Put him away. That's who's that? Paris Long making a big play, number 59. Paris is, could be a real good football player, playing nose guard for us. And Danny comes in. Danny Stoltz comes in here, the drive stalls and, and kicks a field goal. Got the ball right in the middle of the uprights and does a nice job kicking the field goal. 31 yard field goal, 34 to 10 is the count now as we head to the final stanza of a little play. Disappointing. We let him come back right here, do a nice job throwing the football. Little post corner. Our safety's got to get a little more width on that play. It's a big play by their offensive football team. 19 yard pickup. Again, they knock us right out of there on the tall sweep. There's nothing fancy about that. They just wanted to, wanted to score a little more, and we wanted to stop them on that particular play. It hurt us on the tall sweep all afternoon. Patterson with the touchdown, 34 to 16, the count. Good job, Austin Mockerman dumps the ball off to, to Nate Stead right there, number 33, our fullback, freshman fullback. Picks up some good yardage. Here we come with play action pass. Cannot throw the ball late across the middle, and their, their safety man makes a nice interception right there, number 11, Joe Sellers. That thwarts the drive with Mockerman in at quarterback, but they'll get another chance. Here we got Derek Combs at running back. Our fullback does a nice job. Derek gets, gets some valuable yardage. Again, a nice play by their safety. We come right back with the same play, a little counter sweep. Again, good blocking right there by the offensive line and uh, Derek Combs, number 43 out of Grove City, put the ball in zone. Combs glides in for the touchdown and the final count of 40 to 16. The Buckeyes get win number two on the season.